day seven of ten of my ten days of live streaming. Let me scoot you over a bit. Um, <laughs> funny note, uh, I you know the iPhone has that kind of bump that comes out, so you don't see the full screen. I always seem to catch a little bit of <laughs> my back, uh, my wall instead of the white background because I never see that. And I only see it after the review is uploaded. So anyway, uh, not that you guys care about that. We're here to talk about the um, uh, newest Masterpiece release. This is Masterpiece MP51RC, the Cybertron Warrior, and this is her box. Pretty standard stuff. Um, very small, car bot size bot, pretty standard. Uh, image was on the front and on the side. You can see her nice... Uh, space vehicle alt mode and some nice posability that you get this is one of the things that we'll talk about her alt mode on the side here stuff on the bottom and on the back is where you get all of the details about the accessories the um blast effects the different faces uh, her paired up with her buddies ultra magnus and hot rod and all this other stuff so let's get rid of this box bring in the goodies so she comes with her stack card. Um, I noticed, or at least I felt like right out of the box, this felt much thicker than uh, what I was ex when, when uh, what I expect coming from Takara. Usually we got kind of a flimsy card. I feel like this one's much thicker, sturdier stock than what we got before. Anyways, uh, kind of a weird G1-ish retro image there, kind of shiny-ish. Um, on the back, we get her stats and bio. Nothing really great about that. Again, we get that weird kind of G1-ish image here and the instructions. They are pretty big, but um, they do a decent job. I think they do a pretty decent job. Um, as usual, you get kind of all the accessories and how they work there. And then there's two-sided instructions, but um, it's kind of deceiving. These instructions are much bigger than what we typically get, I think. Um, and while there seem to be a lot of stuff, she's actually pretty simple to transform. There are a couple things that you need to look out for, but otherwise, um, not too shabby. All right, let's see. Let's see. All right, well, we already got 24 of you on, so more than double what I had all last night through my One Piece uh, 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 Thousand Sunny review, but I still love that figure. Um, so here we have RC in our alt mode. Canceled your order? Oh, man. Um, I don't think she's she's definitely I don't think she's something you should cancel, um, but I don't think she's the next greatest thing since sliced bread or anything like that. So we're we're just gonna dump all this out just because it's a lot easier and almost less time consuming for you guys. But she comes with a lot of different weaponry uh, accessories that that you might actually use, uh, unlike some of the stuff like Hound's um, uh, canvas top or stuff like that. You might actually use some of this stuff. I actually like blast effects. I think they're a good addition. And it's one of those things where I would probably never never uh, buy a lot of blast effects. But if they come in the box, I'll definitely use them. So uh, let's start off with the faces. You get a couple of different faces. Um, so she has uh, this kind of concerned face, which actually does remind me of the face that she had, I think, in the movie. Uh, she had kind of that uh, happy face, which is uh, mouth slightly parted, and then she kind of has this uh, O face. <laughs> I mean, there's <laughs> there's no other way for me to describe it. It's kind of an O face. Uh, her her eyes are wider than the other faces, so it's pretty much an O face. And then she has a standard kind of happy mouth closed face. We'll put those off to the side. Um, weaponry. She has a nice rifle that uh, you see her use. I think once or twice in the the show. Uh, not very often. Uh, I don't find this as iconic as her other weaponry, but she does have like kind of that side clip here. All right, let's see. Um, we got hit her plip weird pistol. <laughs> the mods are art. The, the, good, good thing I gave the mods power, but they don't have the power to ban me for saying dirty stuff. So anyway, we're going to have more dirty stuff that we'll probably talk about later. But yeah, this gun is just kind of plain. Uh... Again, I, I don't really think this is a very interesting one. There's no other coloration here. It's the most boring of the, the guns. Uh, it does work in conjunction with this holster. So you pop it in like that. Hey, ZFrosh, how's it going? Uh, they have um, this gun, which is the gun that I think is most iconic. It's the one that you kind of see on the, the back of the box, the pistol. It has the most detail, even though it's tiny. Um, the downside of this gun is that it only works in one hand. You can see the tab 
that only goes to the right palm, but it has even nice small green details right here in gray. So I did, I think they did a really good job. Hey, Caleb, how's it going? Hey, Winston, nice to see you again. Thanks for joining all these live streams. Uh, this is a alt mode accessory that um, I think on Junkion, when they battle, they uh, she uses this to kind of fend them off. It's one of those, you know, uh, spinny, spiky pieces that ruins wheels. And then these are the blast effects. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, let's see. Hey, Jason. Hey, John. So the blast effects, the only one that works with the pistol is this one because it has a different shape in the front. It's rectangular, so you just peg it in like so. Looks quite nice. It's nice translucent orangish yellow, um, and it has all these kind of nice uh, non-symmetrical effects, which make it look kind of cool. The other two effects parts... This long one here is meant for the rifle, kind of the sniper rifle, and the small one um, is meant for the pistol here. But you can use these and either. You can put, plug this one in here and this one in there, or vice versa. They both have the same uh, peg size. But again, these look really nice. The light really does shine through them really nicely, and it nice, has uh, nice molded flame effects. All right. Sorry if I'm not getting to the questions. I'm going to go ahead and look back over these. You uh, Glitcher says, I dislike leftover pieces. How many weapons can you pe peg into our alt mode? We're going to get to that right now. Uh, Nutter, which I don't, I don't think I've seen Nutter on here before, but we'll talk about well, uh, Welcome to the stream. So as far as weapon storage and alt mode, well, here first, let me do a quick 360. Just of her uh, in our alt mode. And this is the mode that definitely looks the best. They did a phenomenal job of her alt mode. It looks... Very much like what you would see in the show. It does roll. It has nice wheels. And unlike uh, Hot Rod, and not, not unlike Hot Rod, she does have very uh, tight clearances, um, but not as tight where you might need stickers from repo labels to actually be able to roll it consistently. But it does do a really good job. The pink uh, paint is nice and vibrant, and like with a lot of their most recent MP releases, um, the majority of this figure, especially in alt mode, is painted, which is very, very nice. Not a lot of defects that I've seen. Um, I have a little paint, pink splotch here, but that's about it. And um, very clean. Not a lot of sprue marks either. There's only a couple that are very subtle that you wouldn't be able to pick up unless you really, really looked at it. Uh, here's the look from her at the bottom. Looks very similar to a lot of RCs and the transformations that we've seen before. So um, please show how the hands are supposed to be correctly in alt mode uh yeah i think this is the correct way you, this is basically as flush as you can get them at least as at least this is what i found you kind of put them like this and um that way it rests um uh pretty pretty flat you got to get the thumb kind of in like so anyway but yeah nice red details um, looks really, really nice. Very solid feeling. I mean, it's not going to be, it's not, it doesn't have a ton of die cast, so it doesn't feel like a brick, like fan story stuff, but the alt mode is definitely the winning mode uh, of the two modes that we have here. You got this nice translucent blue windshield. You even have some internal details like the dashboard, the steering wheel, um, some uh, gauges and so forth, and even the seat details. So as far as what you can do with the alt mode parts, uh, the weapons in alt mode, you can tab this one back here. They have big tabs on the back. You can, for some reason, use the holster and peg it in here. Uh, don't know why you would want to do that. It's not like a weapon or anything. This gun, you come in and peg in underneath the front. You can see there's a tab slot. You can go either way, this way or this way, but you tab it in like so. This gun, uh, they don't show anywhere to store this. Um, I thought maybe you could use it the same way that you can store it in robot mode, which is behind, underneath here, but the foot gets in the way that fills up that spot. Um, so I don't know of any official way, unless I somehow skipped over it, that you can store this. But, you know, if you want to be gangster, you can just throw it into the, the passenger seat just so you have it ready at all times. And then finally, this optional weapon goes underneath the... Um, front section this way so uh, you want it to basically come out from her right wheel wheel well it, you can see there's a little tab slot there and this tab that corresponds you just peg that in like so and uh if you didn't ham fist it and knock the other weapon off you have most of your weapons in some form of storage and again you can just throw that in here 
But yeah, this is what she looks like. I don't think I'll ever do that. And again, this just looks kind of ridiculous. Why would you have a holster on the side of your alt mode? Seems pretty pointless. So yeah, let's see. Uh, sorry, I'm missing it a lot. Uh, we have a lot more people than I was expecting. Uh, 80 folks on already. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to rely on team in and tm reviews to kind of answer a lot of your questions uh tm also has this figure in hand uh what human figure would fit in it uh that's a good question uh i do have uh the big spike from i believe hound and then i also have the small one uh neither of them will actually fit because there's no leg room in here um uh, but it, it it does look like it scales pretty well for the the small one as you can see like if you broke off his legs and popped off his hips, like uh, a lot of people had problems with theirs, uh, you could probably just fit him in. But it looks like it scales pretty well. Even standing up next to it, it scales quite well. All right. But yeah, this guy, I don't know why they gave you this guy. He doesn't fit with any, any, fit, any scale. So um, unfortunately, the downside of doing live streams is that I can't do comparisons of uh, both... Uh, robot and alt mode unless I have two copies of figures and I and I just don't um, I also only have uh, unfortunately uh, the ocular max azalea I got rid of my rouge a long time ago I, I haven't been uh, shy about um, sharing my opinions on that figure rely on t t man 978 and the um, and uh, tm reviews they will both have comp comparisons with uh, rouge so you can you can check out their reviews when they go up and you'll have a better comparison of those. So as far as alt mode comparisons, I'm only going to bring out my standard comparisons here. Here we have Streak. It's a very close to the size of Streak. Um, the bumper obviously sticks out a little bit more than uh, you would expect. And then it's a little bit wider, but I think it works quite well. And she, here she is. And you can see one of the issues I have is that this uh, front section, while it does have little tiny nubs that are supposed to go here um, that are supposed to keep it in place, I would have liked it to be a little bit longer or have some kind of alternate mechanism because it really doesn't uh, stay um, kind of fitted um, very well. So um, that's one of the downsides, one of the small downsides. I mean, as long as you're not messing with it much, then you won't have an issue, issue with it. So, yeah. All right. So, I'm missing a lot of questions, I'm sure. A lot of them are coming. Um, let's see. Uh, ready to ship from Toy Dojo? No, this, they're still on pre-order. I actually got this one from Amazon Japan. Um, sometimes I order stuff from there just to get it quicker so I can do a review with you guys. Um, uh, so T-Man disagrees with me. He likes the big spike. Uh, this is not your channel. Nobody cares about your opinion, T-Man. I'm just kidding. Uh, the paint quality is really nice. Uh, Zfar says, I need to know paint quality and parts quality from Takara, especially compared to the crappy V3 Prime, Hound, and Bumblebee. Instantly out, out of hand, I do think this is um, better quality overall than Hound, but I will talk about one piece that I did uh, break, but um, that might be user error, but I do want to make sure that... Um, I do want to make sure that I point it out so you guys don't potentially break it, whether it's user error or bad instructions or a combination of both. Or I may have just gotten a defect and just didn't realize it until um, after transforming it a couple times. So speaking of transformation, we're going to get into that right away. Uh, the first thing you need to do is basically you want to pull the front and back apart to release the doors here. Same thing here. You want to pull this up, flip the, the door uh, upwards, and rotate it. Then with this whole section, you're going to accordion this, but you want to accordion this back like so, and then flip this up and back. Same thing on the other side. We're going to repeat on this end. So just pull that out, untab these, flip open the door, rotate it. You need to clear this area here. So it is these do sit underneath this uh, white section. Uh, you want to pull that out. And again, you want to accordion this back while flipping this up and over so it sits like that all right coming to the rear here uh there's a peg that goes right into her butthole <laughs> uh th there's no other way to really describe it you can see it right here um a lower back hole maybe is a better description but you want to un untab that and this is one area where the instructions weren't really um 
uh, very clear is that they want you to bring this up, but they weren't clear on where the hinge is. And since you can't really see in here well, it looks like there's a hinge um, deep in here on the pink and gray that you're supposed to hinge up on. You're not. You're supposed to actually hinge up on this section that is kind of like the um, center uh, console storage area. You want to lift up on that like so. All right. So once you do that, you want to pull up on this gray back seats to fold flat there. And then you want to kind of collapse these two sections in very slightly. They, they, sl they do need to tuck in a little bit to get some clearance later. So while we're here, well, let's go ahead and transform the rest of this rear section. You want to untab sideways on both of these rear, ta rear tail lights and fold this in. I do want to highlight this is where I got a crack on the hinge. And I'll show you probably why. Um, but you want to kind of want to fold this in like so. Now these tail light sections are on two sets of sliders. They're on a sliding pin that goes in and out, and there's also a sliding pin that lets you extend it outward. So you need to use both. You want to slide it in because these are going to rotate in two times, once like this. And again, you want to pull it out to the rear this way so that you can tuck it in one more time. So once you're done, uh, it should be facing like so. All right, so once again, slide inwards on this pin joint and then slide it outwards the other way. Fold this in once and then fold this in again to get it cleared and completely around. Uh, the instructions go a little bit out of order from what I'm doing here, but I think it just makes sense just to stick with the backpack. Let's go ahead and there's actually an accordion piece here. It's double hinge. You want to rock this up like so and you kind of reach, uh, collapse them together like that. All right, next up, we're gonna to come to the bottom of the car. We're gonna pull up on these. These are on uh, double hinge joints as well, but you can just flip them up like this. Um, you can pull the legs down so that they're facing directly forward. You do need to do that. And from here, they have a really interesting mechanism. Uh, they collapse inwards like this, like so. Once you do that, then you can straighten out the, the legs going downwards. You don't want to try to extend, close this up uh, rotate this down, otherwise you'll get collision issues and you might damage your figure. So don't do that. Remember to have the legs straight, collapse them at the hips, and then fold them down. Then you can arrange the feet. <laughs> and that's it for the lower body. That's all you have to do. Fold the legs down, collapse the hips, and then uh, adjust the feet, and you're done. Lower body transformation is very pretty simple, as you might ex expect from basically a shell former. So let me pause real quick. Uh, there is a uh, die cast in the feet. That's not the only area that has die cast. Uh, I believe this is die cast in here. Um, there was at least one other section that I could think of that has die cast. I don't want to feel, my hands are cold, so I can't do the cold touch. Um, but there were a couple of other places that did have die cast. I just can't recall off the top of my head. I'm trying to feel around. Uh, I don't think her thighs or her legs are, but as far as the lower body, it's basically this section here that's die cast. Uh, not even the toes are die cast, if I recall. All right, so from here, we're going to bring the arms down. They're kind of on uh, two sets of hinges. You want to fold this down like so. Straighten out the arms and straighten out the hands, however you'd like them positioned. Um, we're going to fold this section like this. Uh, but I actually like to do a couple of things first. So... This whole section here will fold down and you rotate this all the way out. So you get the head popped out here, like so. Um, and this section here, they want you to fold down like this. And this gets a little complicated. Let me see if I remember exactly. Uh, Brad, yeah, the plastic overall feels much better. Um, uh, there was one breakage point that I pointed out here, but again, I do want to stress that could be user error. It could have been like that from the factory. It could be a combination of both, a lot of different things. I didn't notice it until like my fourth or fifth trans transformation. So definitely don't um, call that like a QC issue. It could be me, um, unless there's a widespread issue with it. Um, I'll point out why it might have happened though. So getting back to the transformation, this whole section here, you want to fold down like so. And you want to rotate it. So you want to rotate it basically, uh, what, what is the best way? Uh, clockwise, like so. And you want to get it kind of like this to the point where, to the point where you're, you're clear to go through, but you're not, you're at a kind of almost like a 45 degree angle. And that way you can, when you pull this through, it clears. So again, kind of at this 45 degree angle, 
and you want to push this through. There should be no twisting or torsion or of any kind. It should slide through very cleanly like this, see? Uh, but once you get through that, that's not your only clearance issue. You have to go through this too. But you can just keep doing the same thing, basically. This time you can straighten it out a bit more. Pull this down, and then you can clear this. Um, before you fold that flat, you do want to fold the wheels. I don't know why they uh, wanted to show you these two separate parts. They told you to fold the wheel in first and then this section. You can just fold both at the same time. There's no difference. Uh, but now once you do that, once you have the wheels in, you can push the windshield and the dashboard back onto the, uh, kind of, I guess, the hood. All right? All right, so we're mostly done now. We do want to kind of bring this forward. Uh, these sections here will just collapse up. I forgot to close them earlier when I removed the feet, but yeah, you can collapse them up like this. Um, so let me remember how, how I want to do this, this order. Oh, so I do want to fold in the wheels here on the lower section, just the wheels, not the wheel well, like that. So it sits behind this piece here. Uh, I think this piece is die cast. Yeah, this part is die cast as well in the frame. Uh, so this piece, as well as that kind of center console piece that we talked about. So what we want to do here is on this double hinge, you want to extend this up and, and push the backpack up as far as you can. These two tabs on the back, um, they do have a corresponding slot on each side. Uh, I think this is where I, m I made the mistake. You don't, while there are slots there, it doesn't actually tab in tightly. Um, it more or less just sits in there. Um, maybe because I was trying to push it in like this to get it to tab in. I was actually also trying to tab it in like this by coming in behind it. Um, that might be the reason why I stressed this. So be mindful of that. It doesn't tab in securely, like very, very um, tightly. It basically is just a placeholder to have it rest in there. So just be mindful of that. Uh, the instructions make it seem like it tabs in very securely. It does not. All right, so coming back to the upper body now that we have this done, remember to have this completely secured. And remember, if you didn't already, close up these two white sections so that now the backpack here is going to come back like so. You're going to have a slight gap here between these pieces and this um, armature. That's fine. Now you want to bring this white collar neck piece and now it'll tab in here. Make sure to press down on that. And then you're going to finish up by closing up the chest. Yeah, just make sure to press down on that collar so it secures very tightly. On the back here, the hood, it kind of like a MP Bumblebee, you press to flip it around. I think they got kind of lazy though. I don't know why they didn't make it fill in flat. Uh, you have like gaps here for some reason. Fold this down. And then uh, last but not least, once you have that all done, you can fold up these wheel wells on what was the rear of the car to kind of hide those wheels. And with that, we have RC in robot mode. So yeah, not a very comp, uh, it looked complex. There's a lot of moving parts, but it's actually very, very simple. There's probably more steps to the instructions than are really necessary. Um, and like I said, aside from those few minor details, like not trying to push this backpack in, um, like I did, and that probably cracked mine. Um, the transformation itself is pretty clean. So let me do a quick 360. I do want to adjust her thighs. She uh, she looks a little awkward if you don't rotate her thighs out just a tiny bit. Um, she is fairly stable. Um, the problem is, um, and I'll get to it in the articulation section, is that you kind of have very limited options for her um, with her legs and her hips. So anyway, let me just do a quick 360. I'm not going to try to stand her up. But as far as uh, a G1 RC, I think she looks pretty good. The obvious issue being her chest, her backpack being so big and kind of messy. And then um, for me, I feel like, so I said this uh, to T-Man and T uh, TM. Um, I feel like the three different RCs we got, let me just bring the one I have out. We have Ocular Max. Um, I feel like she looks like a teenager version of RC. If I had Rouge, she would sit in the middle. She's like the single 20s, early 30s Rouge, very model looking, very, very uh, um, confident in her looks. And then we have 
MP51 who looks like she's in her 40s. She has like she had like two kids. Uh, she's kind of beaten down a bit. Uh, that's <laughs> that's how I see the evolution of the three MPs. Young one who looks kind of you know needs to grow up a little bit. We have Rouge, who's super, super hot, young 20s, uh, mid-20s. And then we have the mom, Bod. Uh, I say that because a couple of reasons. She has these kind of, like, mom thighs and hips. Uh, it kind of reminds me of, if you guys watch Dexter, Dexter's Laboratory, um, <laughs> they always talk about how thick Dexter's mom is and her hips and thighs, uh, as well as, um, what, was the, what was the other mom? I was thinking of oh, uh, Elastic Girl in in Incredibles. Uh, you know how she she talks about how she's gained a lot of weight, <laughs> and, and anyway, and with the chest being kind of low like this, it, it definitely seems like she's got some some you know age to her experience. We'll call her a more experienced RC. Um, the other thing is I don't like about her look overall is that her thumbs are really awkwardly placed and they have limited art articulation. You only have the one joint here and it just makes it look like she has like arthritis. You know, again, she's, she's, she's got some work done. Even her face reminds me of a mom who, who got like a nose job after she got, had a couple of kids. It looks very plastic surgery ish. It's super thin, like, um, thicker at the bridge than it is at the tip of the nose. It's kind of crazy how, how, how fitting the old mom uh, look applies to her. Uh, so yeah, let's go into articulation real quick before I keep going on and on about that. She does have a ball jointed head, so she can get that tilt when she's mad at her kids, up and down, good amount of range. She also has a neck joint, a neck hinge here, so she can head bob with the best of them. Coming to the shoulders, she does have full rotation around and out and up. She does have that secondary joint if you need to do some weird yoga poses like that. Uh, you know, she's doing Pilates nowadays to try to get back in shape. She, got, she has uh, the butterfly joint, which does look really awkward at certain angles, but it does allow her to do some really cool poses with the pistol. So again, the pistol can just peg in here. Let's go. And she can do the, oh, well, okay. Well, she can do the gun pose. Very nice cop pose. And I think these are the poses that work well for her or best for her because of the fact that um, it kind of ob obscures the upper chest portion. So, uh, John Evans, sorry, I'm trying to get some of the, the comments now. John Evans says, hips and thighs, that's more Generations RC Legends uh, LG 10 RC. I think this is the same. Oh, and look, look at from the side. This is the other thing that bothers me. Look at how her butt curves around and her it goes like way forward and then her stomach goes way forward like again like she's carrying some you know extra weight for af after having a couple kids but it just looks awkward how much it curves in um anyways we'll talk more about that in a bit but yeah the butterfly joint is a really nice point of articulation um but i think it's more than she needs and if you hadn't noticed this chest piece here if they added another hinge or sliding pin, they could have had this sit a bit higher. Like if it just had another joint right at the base, it could have folded up like this and tabbed in. And I think that would look so much better. So I got to imagine that a third party company will come out with a joint. Uh, the problem I'm thinking is uh, you'll have to pop a pin to, to replace that. But it should be pretty easy to do that. But I just wanted to point that out as a point of hope for all of us who are hoping for a younger version of RC to come about. So getting back to articulation, she does have biceps. Well, she does have great double jointed um, elbows. So well, I thought she had double jointed elbows. I'm, I'm like positive she does. Yeah, there we go. There, it was just really tight. Um, she has double jointed elbows, like so. The upper one does kind of lock into place, and honestly, you don't really need more than a single joint. You get basically the same thing, and it doesn't break up the look of the arm. Uh, so she does have a wrist hinge, which gives you a, a good amount of down as well as a good amount of up and s rotation. The thumb, like I said, she has a weirdly uh, sh shaped thumb. Uh, it's always just like in that, ah. 
Uh, for the finger, she has all four fingers are are pinned or uh, one molded piece at the base of the hand or base of the fingers, but three of them have uh, one molded piece for like just this joint here. And then the pointer finger has separate uh, molding for that. So she can, so she can't point straight. She can only go like this. That's as much as she can do. Cause, every, oh, actually I thought that was, oh, my, my, my mistake. I thought all four of them were, um, but her, her, her finger, forefinger does actually have a separate molded piece. Yeah, I didn't notice that before. Sorry, my mistake. Learn something new every day. All right, so the, the midsection, I want to pop this open just so you can see. There's kind of a ball peg that goes into her abdomen area. Uh, so she gets a good amount of like side to side. But this joint is actually really, really tight, uh, at least on mine. So it makes it a little hard to use, uh, especially in combination with the ball joint that's somewhere in her, her hip area, which is very, very loose. So I can't actually use it very well because of the way the backpack, it always you can see it kind of like comes back like that. So um, she does have rotation and you can actually force her to rotate more than like 45 degrees. Um, if you force it, you can see it's splitting there. You can actually get it to go probably, 360, probably 360, but I'm not gonna risk it. Uh, I already tried it before. So for the hips, um, here's the downside. Well, pluses the minuses. So it is ratcheted and it sounds like there are metal ratchets in here. So you can, get a, a two ratchets going forward like this, and then you can actually spread it out like so to go forward out uh, towards the outside, but you can't get more than basically 90 going straight. Going outwards, you get about this much. Um, and because of the way, I don't know, it's designed, uh, you, you, it's just friction, but you can't hold it out very far. Not that I think you would really need to, um, it's a decent amount of range. I don't think you need really much more than this unless you had other ideas of how to pose this figure. Um, but I think it's a salvageable amount of articulation going out. The biggest downside for me is that she has absolutely zero hip leg going back. She can't move her hips back at all. Um, it's because of the molding of her very round butt. Um, but you can't go back at all and, and also the hips here. So you can't move back even a little bit for posability. I would have loved to be able to do just like this much to have kind of like a, a bit of a hip thrust. And that would also have reduced the look of kind of like this bulging belly, I think a bit. So it's, um, it, it's a bit disappointing that we don't get any kind of backwards articulation at all. Um, that's what really a bummer. As far as thigh swivel, we showed it before. It's actually at the lower section. Um, it's hard to miss because it is really, really tight. Um, once you rotate it around a couple times, it does loosen up quite a bit. She does have really great knee bend and double jointed knees. So great amount of range. And there's no real gappage here, which is very nice. Coming to the feet, she does have a good amount of tilt going forward and down, as well as uh, ankle pivot, but it really only pivots in uh, inward. You don't get any ankle pivot going outward. And then as we saw before, she does have toe articulation. Um, it's Mine's really loose on both sides. I mean, not super loose. Uh, I guess it's salvageable, but uh, I would have liked it to be a little bit tighter. So yeah, that was all the articulation, I believe, unless I missed something. Um, again, as far as accessories, let's, let's, uh, let's pause. Since she has the ab crunch, since the ab crunch doesn't work that well, the crotch thrust doesn't matter. I guess that I guess that's true. I mean, yeah, it would have been I, I, it would have been nice to just be if I could do this and bring the hit legs back. I think it would be better. And again, if this was slid up just a little bit, it would also make it look less like she has granny panties on and give her more of an actual waist that you can see um, from the front, which I think would be more actual uh, actually accurate. Hey, Clinical, the prototypes is tomorrow. Sorry, I, I actually uh, pulled an audible because the fact that she arrived early, um, I was going to have that, um, I was going to have that um, later in the 10 days of live stream, but she came early. So, uh, Glitcher, by any chance, did you pre-order HasLab Unicorn? Yes, I have two of them, actually. Oh, yeah, TM, TM already answering questions. He does such a great job as a mod. I'm so glad that happened. 
Uh, T-Man says slide the joint out. I'm not sure what you... So that's the problem with... Um, you can slide the joint out like this, maybe. I think that's what he's asking about to get some kind of range. But again, because of the way this is molded, it's really not meant to be uh, used for robot mode at all. Uh, hey, Deluxe, how's it been? Hope you're doing well. Wild Bill says, my wife hates the RC character. Um, I'm guessing because she's like super kind of uh, sexified for a robot. Sexualized. I don't know sexified is not a word. Why did I say that? Uh, Sardo Nunspot82 says, I take it she doesn't come with extra hands like uh, Azalea. No, no extra hands. Um, her hands have actually decent articulation. Uh, let's see here. John Walker says, Agreed, I think the female perspective is needed. I think I'm going to let my wife pick RC. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry. The close fish, you can do that. Sorry. Let me close that up a bit. Uh, the thumb does actually look decent in this kind of pose with the fist closed up. It doesn't look bad. It just looks awkward that you can't articulate any more than that. All right. So I think, I think, uh, TN's been doing a really good job. He has this figure in hand as well. He got his today. So uh, I think he's been able to answer a lot of the questions that uh, you guys might have and that I missed. Uh, Glitcher asks, are you disappointed that there's no Headmaster Daniel? Um, no, I, I definitely don't, do not care about that. I thought that was a dumb gimmick to have uh, Daniel be the Headmaster, to be perfectly honest. Uh, if you put the guns... In there, there should be knee shooters. I don't. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna come back down, come back down to the current. Uh, when did this come out? It just came out. Um, yeah. So accessory wise, again, this pistol only goes into the right hand. I mean, I guess you could fit it into the left hand, um, but it, it's not really designed for that since there's no tab. I don't know why this is not staying this anymore. This was working actually quite well for me uh, previously. Wondering. Wondering what's going on. Yeah, mine's mine keeps coming out now. Huh. I know this was working for me before, so that's why I'm trying to force it. But oh, there we go. All okay. right. Yeah, I don't I don't know why it wasn't working before. But yeah, she can hold that again. She can use this specific energy uh, blast for this gun. The this pistol. Uh, like I said, there is storage. You can do it on either side. You flip this. No, not this pistol. This pistol. Um, and there's basically a slot here. You want to put the barrel. Uh, it's a little bit easier if I flip her upside down. So you put the barrel in like so. And then the um, rear part goes in like that. And it go comes in at a, bit, a bit, at a bit of an angle. And then you close that up. So you see the handle. This gun, the storage is either in her hand or in the holster, which again only has a peg on one side, so you can put it like this, or if you want to cross holster, you can tab it in here, I suppose. But yeah, that goes here. Her um, rifle stores like so. It uses the same tabs that are on vehicle mode that you used, um, and I believe... You can store it on both sides, this way or this way. So she does have decent weapon storage. Uh, this piece, as far as I know, doesn't store. So you're stuck with that. All right, let's get these out of the way. Uh, let's see. Oh, sorry, I wanted to do comparisons before. Actually, let's keep doing the accessories and we'll do comparisons near the end or at least near the end of this section. So uh, she does have this regular face. It's a kind of smiling, slightly slightly happy face. It does look pretty good. Her Leia buns look quite nice. So to switch faces, you just lift up the helmet, the mid, uh, the helmet here, and it slides up and out. Um, we'll put together her O face. Um, one thing to note is there's actually two positions that you can store this in. So you can store it in the front position, which is the standard position. Or you can store it in the rear section or the rear slots. And the reason for that is even though it does create 
create a bit of a gap here. Uh, the reason for that, as you might have seen, is she does have her red visor here. There is a little tab here that makes it easy to flip out. And to use this visor, you need to have the faces in the, um, uh, the back position. But it does look quite nice. Yeah, so very simple mechanism to switch this out. I actually think the, the visor looks really, really good. It is a little bit more pinkish than I would like, but um, it's, it's still good. All right. All right, let me see. Comparisons real quick. Uh, I have her with Azalea, and again, for those joining late, I do not have Rouge anymore. She's not in my collection. I sold her a, a while ago, so there's no comparison with Rouge. Check out TM Reviews, whose review is probably going up later tonight or tomorrow. I'm not, not sure exactly when, but he, did ha he does have his in hand. All right. And uh, another figure, since we've, we were talking about Hound. Actually, I guess I should have her in the middle since she's the, compare the, the main attraction here. And... Uh, just because we need to, here she is with MP44. So you, gotta, you guys can see how they scale. So uh, they're, these two are about the same height. Like there's literally probably less than a millimeter or so difference in the height. Rouge is much taller. Yeah, so uh, let, me look, let me take a pause here while we do this great comparison shot to see what we got um oh yeah sorry so tm says show with mp hot rod if you can so i did uh apparently kato's hey hey kato's how's it going hey memo hey deluxe jiba show her next to hot rod before brandon passes out who's brandon oh brandon oh sorry about that brandon like i said uh it's hard for me to keep up with the comments while i'm doing transformations or going over um, the actual uh, figure and accessories. Black Dragon looks great. I'm assuming uh, the quality is good as well. Pretty good, yeah. I'm I'm much happier with this quality over Hound. Although I did, I never really felt that Hound was bad feeling. Uh, but there are clearly issues with the pins in a, a number of different sections. Uh, Clinical says, can she put her hand next to her ear? Uh, don't see why that would be a problem. Like that. Hello, hello, coming in. Are you hearing me loud and clear? Uh, Paul Spurgeon says Azalea's feet are very tiny. Um, yeah, they're decently smaller than, um, than the officials. Ah, man, Azalea problems. Not Azalea, RC problems. The small feet just make it hard to stand regardless. Hey, Sean. Uh, hi, I'm a fan. Great. I'm, I'm wondering if you're saying a fan of this figure or a fan of mine. Guys, what you all think is better, Voyager Soundwave or Voyager Megatron? Please answer me. Uh, I, I don't know which Voyager. There's a ton of Voyager Megatrons and uh, Voyager Soundwaves. So you would have to be more specific. If you mean the latest Netflix ones, uh, I don't have a good opinion of that because I don't have um, the Soundwave. Han says, looks like I'll be trading in my Azalea. Uh, question, current favorite Transformer figure. I uh, don't know off the top of my head if I have a current favorite Transformers figure. This one is definitely not it. But it would definitely probably be a third-party figure uh, of some sort. Uh, can you do a side, uh, side view comparison? Sure. So uh, as far as side and rear comparisons, you can see MMC and uh, Rouge, if I had her, do a much better job of compacting everything down. She does have a very, very hefty backpack. Um, Azalea's is very, very compact. Um, this is probably like double the thickness um, when you scale it together. And it's much cleaner. But it's, it's, I don't think it's totally obtrusive. And again, uh, given the design, um, design uh, that styles that um the new masterpiece line has been following um they're really looking at front view really only all right let's see what other questions we have 
Uh, can she do the Iron Man superhero landing? Andrew, I don't know if you're new here, but I actually hate doing that pose. Um, I talk about it all the time. Uh, she might be able to do it, though. I think she probably can. Or at least do uh, a somewhat decent flex facsimile because she has such great range up here. And luckily that pose doesn't really require too much. Um, oh yeah, she can't get that far down, but she can get pretty far. And she can look up decent she can look look up really well. So while it's not exactly the superhero pose, sorry, uh, she can't reach all the way down, she does a pretty decent job of it. I'm doing this for you guys. This is a kind of a one-time thing. Don't expect me to do the superhero landing pose every time. I think it's dumb. And I think it's overused. All right. All right, let's see here. Anthony Brown, can you show her next to a Springer? Uh, yeah, I can do that uh, in a bit. Uh, T-Man says she's seen her in some uh, superhero poses. So, um, yeah, there's probably... Somebody who's done a, a much better time. Uh, Glitcher says a third party figure some for Well, that narrows it down. It's really hard to just narrow it down, especially when I'm kind of focused on this. But um, if you watch my uh, New Year's Eve live stream, I'll be talking about the winners and losers of 2020. And while that's not specifically best and worst figures, I'm going to be very specific about that. Um, uh, it will. I will have uh, conversations about... Uh, some of my most recent figures that I really like. I really do like uh, G Creation's Wrath. Uh, that's the movie Dinobot. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a pause real quick because somebody asked for a Springer, and unfortunately my Springer's really far back. But I'll go ahead and get like a I'll get Coot and um, Blur real quick. Yeah, sorry, I can't accommodate the Springer request. Uh, my Saltus is, because he's pretty, pretty big, he's uh, towards the back of my display. So it makes it really hard for me to just um, bring him out without knocking down like eight other figures. So yeah, let me get the non-movie cast member out of the way so you guys can see that. Hey Trash, how's it going? Yeah, you're late, but thanks for making it anyway. I appreciate it. Uh, Black Dragon says, I agree. Blank the Takara alt mode. Uh, they nailed it. Yeah, the, the, the alt mode's really, really great. Uh, real name? Yeah, so real name. Uh, I haven't tried that, but apparently TM Reviews has, so uh, she can probably do that cross-legged pose if he says she can. Uh, TM Reviews, I do have a Springer. It's Saltis. I talk about Saltis all the time. He is one of my favorite third-party figures, if not um, uh, Transformer figures of all time. I think he's really, really great. Anthony Brown. Uh, man, people are a, lot, a lot of people are asking for a Springer. Um, all right, I, I'll try to get him, but uh, if you hear me yelling and screaming, it's because you guys made me break some figures just to do a comparison. I'm coming. All right, here he is with Saltis, my Springer of choice. Luckily, I was able to get to him without knocking down too many figures. Uh, let me get them more side by side so it can you can see more of a actual comparison since she's so far up. Um, oh, Hot Rod, you're 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 gonna be out of this group. You've been. Shown more than enough. I think everybody has a good idea. But yeah, does this do it for you guys? Hopefully this does. Oh no, Blur, your, your target master. There we go. So yeah, this is a really nice line up here. I think they all scale really well. Saltest is a really goofy head? What? No way, Her, his head sculpt's awesome. I have no idea what you're talking about, Glitcher. I disagree 100%. The only thing that I think looks off about Saltis, aside from the fact that I don't 
I don't take time to put all these Autobot logos on because I'm lazy, is that uh, I think the front grille looks a little cheap since it's only, it is die cast, but there's no um, actual, you know, deep grills in there. I would have liked it to be a little bit deeper. Uh, I still function. Always trolling. He says, can you get Magnus now? Uh, no, I'm not going to get him. All right. So, Assaultist, uh, Assaultist towers over RC. I think that makes sense. Assaultist was always really big. And again, he's, he's designed to scale with this guy here, which he does uh, quite well. Although, if you look at like kind of the proportions, you can see how small his head is in comparison to hers. Uh, Shogun Lobster says, bro, please get Magnus. No, I've already done the toppling over of, of a bunch of figures. Uh, Magnus is even bigger, so he's even further back. Uh, yeah, so people are... Uh, so TM, TM says you could remove the backpack, the lower part of this. I'm sure you could, but I'm not into modding figures just to make them look more accurate. I think companies should just do a better job of designing figures. Maybe that's just me, and maybe I'm talking crazy. All right. Uh, what was the purpose of the chest shape? I figure it's for all mode purposes, but it looks like they could have gotten... Yeah, uh, I talked about it earlier. They could have just added basically another hinge or a sliding pin joint and had this, like, fold down, like, right here and had these tabs sit a little bit lower. And it would have been perfect. So, like I said, expect a third-party company to definitely capitalize on uh, Takara Tomy's uh, lack of lack of uh, intuitiveness on that transformation. I'm sure there's probably other reasons why they skipped it. They're not dumb. They've done really great um, engineering before. So, I'm sure there was probably a reason, whether it was parts count or just for consistencies, or maybe this is just the way they, the designer, thought she should look. Who knows? Uh, Clinical says, I wonder, and I apologize in advance, if the eventual KO will fix the chest. Um, I would hope so, but uh, not a lot of KOs have actually made significant mold changes. Um, so I, I just don't think so. I think a third-party company is more likely to do an add-on kit. Eric Burgess says, his head is not that good, and the car mode is is not good on Saltus. Yeah, I mean, I can understand the the salt uh, the alt mode because the alt mode is definitely not g1 uh, but i thought the g1 alt mode looked really stupid and uh i didn't really care about that i think the alt mode looks pretty good on this one and i think his robot mode and overall transformation and uh build quality is probably better than um uh, ft uh dark conan says come on uh guys come on do your scale comparisons with your own figures at home <laughs> yeah well i i don't blame people but uh, you guys gotta understand that i can't uh reach every single figure um anthony brown are you gonna do your collection review i i'm i don't know if i'll do a whole video devoted to my collection but i'm gonna do a kind of um end of the year thing where i'm i'll, I'll be happy to show you guys part of my collection at some point I don't think my showing my collection will take all that long, to be per perfectly honest. Um, Mike Rio, uh, Rio says, on your personal point rating scale, how would you rate this figure? I don't do point ratings. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with her. So let me get that out of the way. I'm very happy with her. Is she the greatest figure uh, that's ever been? Definitely not. Is she the greatest uh, Takara Tomy figure? Definitely not. Um, but am I happy to have her? Am I going to get rid of her? No. She's probably going to be my uh, G1 RC. Uh, like I said, this one looks a little off. I always disliked the chest, the way the transformation worked here, um, that, that it's more rounded instead of angular that I really wanted. Um, and just her design, like the lack of the collar that she has, uh, just little nitpicky things are what um, kept her from being really perfect. And Rouge, um, aside from her horrible transformation and um, the scale being a little too tall, that kind of, um, those kinds of things take her out of the running for me. So she's actually um, going to be my G1 RC in my display. All right, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to go back to alt mode. Don't, don't worry. 
oh yeah, if I want to keep this under, there's no way I'm going to keep it under an hour, especially because I, I have way more people than I usually do. So I'm trying to answer a lot of questions. Can you show Hot Rod and RC Space together close up? Sure. Let me get this out of the way. But yeah, you can see just how small his head is in comparison to hers. And I apologize. I can't shoot any better. I can't zoom in. I can't even tap to focus on the YouTube app. There's no uh, way to do that. Um, let's see. Uh, anyone, am I the only one that finds it odd that the auto bot insignia is on top of her chest? I think that's where it's supposed to be. Oh, if you guys want to see a picture of her next to, uh, Magnus, look on the back of the box. There you go. That's as good as you're going to get from me today. Uh... Uh, Shogun Lobster, I'm, I don't have any seekers handy. Um, I don't think that's a really uh, useful comparison. All right, let's see what else we have here. Uh, Jay's talking about sarcasm isn't mine. I don't know if he's talking to me or somebody else in the chat. You Mongerson says, since none of us transform anyway, Rouge is number one for me. I can, I can definitely agree that a lot of people... Um, are in the same boat as you. All right. All right, so back to alt mode. <laughs> Sony's keeping me, or TM Reviews is keeping me on track, keep trying to keep me focused. I do want to answer questions, but we'll have more time for that at the end. All right, so let's get her back into alt mode. All right, so I'm just going to keep her face in the back position just because... Um... Hey, Eric, how's it going? We already just did that, so... So let's go ahead and transform her back into her alt mode. Uh, first things first, we'll go ahead. Let me straighten her hands out. Um, I'm going to deal with this section here first because I always forget about it. And you do need to clear it out of the way to get this backpack up uh, without potentially damaging stuff. So let's go ahead and flip just these wheel well covers. We're going to unpeg her chest and then untab this tab that was in the white section of her collar. Oh, actually, let me get her gun out of the way as well. So just flip that up. With that, you're going to pull up on the backpack. Uh, somebody, uh, TM asked me if there's like a um, uh, a pegging system. Now that I think about it, I think these were these hidden uh, tab sections exist in here. I think that's what these side pieces here, when you pull these down, I'm pretty sure that this, those... Uh, tab in somewhere but i can't see it so i can't say for sure but i'm guessing that's why these nubs exist anyway so let's just bring this up like so for now and then we want to bring the backpack down and i just want to deal with the backpack for uh, this lower backpack rear of the car first just to get it out of the way it's very easy to deal with and we're, we're going to need to get rid get uh it taken care of anyway at some point so might as well take care of it now so we're going to pull this accordion this down bring out the wheels Bring this down to the side. Um, you want to rotate these twice, so the tail pieces, uh, the tail lights, ro rotate them out and straighten them out. You do want to telescope them outwards on that pin joint, and then you want to telescope them down this way, so they tab in. Same thing on this side. For those of you who are joining late, uh, I did damage my figure here, but again, that's I don't think that's a quality QC issue. More more of a user error probably. I don't. I didn't notice if that was out of the box or not. But just be careful, the backpack, this, these tabs that go into these slots here, don't tab in securely. You don't need to force it or push it in. They just kind of rest in here. So don't be like me and try to close that. That's probably where this breakage is coming from. And again, so don't blame Takara Tomy or anything like that. That probably wasn't their fault. So bring this rear section out and you can tab in both of the taillights to either side of that. I think this section is also, also die-cast, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think this section is die-cast. I could be wrong, but again, my hands are too cold to really be able to tell at this point. Uh, so that's it for the backpack for now. We'll deal with the rest later. Just bring this down. Up here, we're going to want to deal with these sections. Let's just go ahead and get this out of the way. Um, 
while we're here, let's actually flip out the Autobots logo and flip up the hood. We're going to want to rotate this piece in, like so, the windshield. You want to rotate this through. Once you do that, you can rotate the head, like so, all the way around. Bring this like that. We'll just keep it for there, right there for now. And again, you want to get this windshield positioned at an angle like this, where it should be able to clear very easily. Like so. So you just pass it through. Once you're through here, you can go ahead and rotate it around, bring that up, and then bring the dashboard section down. So let's go ahead and clean up the rest of this. Um, fold out the wheels. And then we can clean up the head. So the head needs to rock down. There's actually a little bit of a groove here where her head uh, head crest will sit. So make sure you do that. And then this front section. Again, there's small nubs here that go into the side of the front. I wish they were a bit longer, but then I guess they would show tabs at um, as part of her like shoulder or backpack pylon. So I guess they wanted to keep it as um, inconspicuous as possible, but it really would benefit from having some tab up here to lock this section in place. Oh, actually, maybe these, these tabs are for here. So anyway, we want to tab this in like that. We want to bring the arms up on these double joints, like so, and then use the elbows to come down and flat like that. All right, so now we're gonna deal with the hips. You wanna get the legs straight like so, going 90 degrees out, extend them out this way. I don't know how this joint worked, but it's actually very satisfying. I don't, I don't know how it works, but it feels kind of spring-loaded. Remember to straighten out the legs, you kind of want to point the toes like this. And when you rotate them up, oh, sorry. One thing to note, you do want to make sure that these legs are very straight. Uh, make sure that this line detail on the outside of the thighs is all lined up like so. Rotate this up and in. And it will go underneath this section here. You just fold that up. Same thing on the other side, rotate it 90 degrees, extend it outwards. Make sure the leg is straight. Make sure the toes are pointed. Come up like so. Close that up. Like that. There might be an alternate transformation to try to get the hands a little bit more inside. I'm, I'm guessing you could probably do something that helps them uh, go into this cavity here. Um, but I haven't experimented with that, and I think this is good enough. It definitely has enough clearance, so I'm going to leave it the way the official transformation has it. Now, coming to the back here, we're almost done. All we need to do is get this peg into her... her. Uh, I'm trying to avoid saying, you know, but the hole that's in her rear... We might have to feel around for... <laughs> Everything I say feels like it just is coming out dirtier than I mean mean it to. So um, peg that in. And now coming to the last section here, all we really need to do is make sure that we... Oh, uh, so one thing I just noticed is, and it happens quite a bit, is that um, the dashboard ends up sinking in. Uh, make sure it's positioned in a certain way so that it goes behind the steering wheel and sits above the dash. Like so. All right. So this section here is very easy. Again, we're just going to undo the accordion, rotate this great door out to the side, flip it down. When we come down, we want to get the pink section underneath this white section, which we're going to want to pull out. Oh, no. One thing I forgot to do is before you peg it in, uh, the, this into the butt, you have to fold down the, the seats and pull out these white sections. Sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. All right, so coming back here, you want to make sure that this pink uh, section goes underneath this white section here. And this side is kind of weird for me. Uh, you'll see it. I'm sure it will happen. Is that it doesn't seem to want to sit flush. 
it always wants to pop up like this a bit, and it and uh, it takes a little bit of maneuvering. But I'm not going to worry about cleaning that up. It, it is possible, and it's only on this side for mine. I don't know why. And you do these over and under tabs, and basically squish the front and back. See, it 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 does this on this side. I don't know why. Uh, on this side, you'll see that it doesn't do that for one reason or another. I don't know what I'm doing at all differently. And again, tab in these sections, squish it down like so. And we're back in her, her alt mode. So yeah, this section always tends to do this. I don't have any clue why, but it's very clean on this side. I can get a fix, but I'm not, I'm not gonna bother you guys with the details on how to do that. Here she is back in alt mode. Yeah, and she still rolls just fine. So yeah, that's really it for the transformations. Um, my final thoughts on this guy or, or this gal is that I really do like her. Her alt mode is fantastic. The paint works fantastic. The overall quality is um, better than average, I would say, especially for the recent uh, masterpiece uh, line that we got from Tar Takara Tomy. Um, Aside from that one breakage, which again is probably my fault, um, uh, I don't have any issues with this figure. I don't feel like there's anything that is particularly fragile, even for such a kind of dainty, thin figure. Um, there's not a lot of areas where I thought that the plastic was too thin or that there were going to be breakages. Uh, luckily, the one piece that I did damage on mine is hidden in both modes, so I'm not going to worry about it too, too much. But yeah. That's really it. So I know there are probably a bunch of questions that came up while I was doing the transformation. I can't really look at that. Uh, so I'm going to try to go back a bit. Uh, Bruce Jovi, I saw Jobby and I had to, I knew the Back Lives Matter was going to come up. So yes, Back Lives Matter. All right. Uh, the, transformation, um, um, the transformation, unlike the Earthrise RC, just stuffed uh, into a car. Yeah. I agree, It's but uh, I feel like it is very similar to a lot of transformations we got before. Uh, the way that the legs fold up, I mean, that's exactly how she does it too, her legs fold up. It's not uncommon. Um, I, even the Generation RC does a very similar job. I think the Toy World one does pretty similar, so no issues there. Trash, did uh, other Fembots ever transform in G1? I don't know that I'm thinking about it. I have no idea. So Memo says, man, January is going to be expensive with Coot, Starscream, the trailer, and what else? Oh, man, I feel for you. I definitely do. Black Dragon says, looks great and good intuitive transformation. Yeah, I don't think the transformation is bad at all. It's probably the easiest of all of the um, RCs. Although Ocular Max's one isn't bad either, to be perfectly honest. Sean says the Voyager Megatron and Voyager Soundwave is from War for Cybertron Siege Trilogy. I need opinions because I'm ordering them. Um, I, I, I can't say. Uh, I'll let all, anyone else who's actually owned them speak on that. Uh, TM, we handled all the questions. Awesome. Thank you so much for doing such a great job modding. I'm glad I, I added you guys as mods. Uh, Mike Lorber says better than FT. Uh, I think that's really going to be based on what you value in terms of your collection, right? I think, uh, Rouge looks better in robot mode, has a fantastic robot mode. Uh, I think the alt mode is fine. Um, I totally hate the transformation and the skill is out of whack for me. So for me, this is going to be my G1 RC in my collection, but that might not be the case for everyone else. It really depends on, um, depends on what your collection is. What's the final price on that monstrous trailer? It was like $230, right? $300, oh, $330 or something like that. Wait, $230 and then $70 for the, um, for the accessories pack, which are optional. So kind of $300 maybe, but you can get away with $230, which I still think is way too much. Mike Lover says, I do too. However, that front chest arg... Yeah, just have faith like me that something somebody's gonna come around, along and make um, make your dreams come true with a better chest. But yeah, this this guy looks good. Um, her alt mode next to Azalea, 
looks really quite nice. Actually, I'll probably end up doing it the opposite. I'll probably have Azalea start being my alt mode and she'll be my robot mode for my collection. Uh, unfortunately, again, I don't have any other alt modes to compare to that are really relevant. Um, live stream woes, I can't really transform any comparison bots. But here you go with some comparisons while we answer some questions. Does she roll though? Yes, she does roll. Her wheels do roll quite nicely. And like uh, Hot Rod, she does have some clearance issues, but not as much as as um, Hot Rod. And um, I have no issues getting it transformed without much issue and still being able to get it to roll. Oh, uh, yeah. Baker Jin says, I think people are pissed talking about X Transbots trailer. Because some of the accessories in the 75 pack were promised to be included in the trailer. I don't remember that being a promise, but I do know they very strong, at least, at least very strongly implied it with the uh, images, like the alternate faces and so forth. Um, but I'm thinking of so many people have said that they promised it somewhere that I'm pretty sure that they did. So um, let's see here. Yeah, Mike, uh, you're going to have to. Uh, you're going to have to look back. She, she's basically the s same exact height as Azalea. Um, so here are some quick comparisons with Azalea since you'll get an idea for the height. But she's basically head-to-head -head with um, official Hot Rod as well. Not head-to-head, -head, but I mean, sorry, scaled. Um, I don't know why mine's... There we go. So yeah, um... About about the same, maybe like a millimeter shorter than Hot Rod, depending on how you position them. So you'll have to go back. Uh, after lock, X Transbots are getting no more money from me. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to lock though. Uh, Sean says, "Is the legs uh, Uber rubber or plastic?" What? I don't know what you're saying. Is the legs a rubber or plastic bag? I I don't know what that means. <laughs> Dark Onan says he enjoys MPs through all our all your guys' pictures. Oh, rubber. Uh, the legs? The legs are not rubber. They're all, they're all plastic. Uh, she doesn't feel cheap. I think she feels really nice, actually. I think she feels really nice. And again, the finish is really nice on hers. It's really nice, glossy, futuristic, you know, space car paint. I, I do like it. Uh, most most of her most of this figure is plastic. There, like I pointed out, some die cast. Um, this the main part of her feet, not her toes. Uh, some of the arm uh, armatures, like um, the gray pieces in here. There are probably a couple a couple other pieces. I think maybe this section is die cast. Yeah, I think this section is die cast as well. So die cast here and there, but you know it's not going to be an FT. Um, Die cast. Oh, uh, since I do have a scale, uh, people tend to want to know how, how much things weigh. I don't know why that's really that important, but since people tend to ask, let's go ahead and weigh her real quick. She comes in at a very svelte four ounces, so very light overall. So uh, a quarter of a pound is how heavy she is. Uh, way blur. I've already made blur in my uh, previous review of him. So, Anthony Brown asked, "Do you display uh, both modes in your collection?" No, I do not. Generally, um, mostly robot, just because I just don't have the space. Je Joseph Dahmer says that that chest was engineered to accommodate arm articulation. Yes, that's true. Um, but I've actually looked at it. You could have had that chest piece move up, and it would have. Very, very slightly limited her butterfly um, arm articulation, but it would still have allowed her to get most of the range on that. So I don't think that's a valid um, excuse for for uh, reduced uh, or I don't think that was a valid excuse for that design. Yeah, I've, I've mentioned this a bunch of times, Trash. There are some tabs here that are supposed to kind of lock it into place, but they're very, like, look how small they are. 
Like they're not even a millimeter and they don't actually hold it into place. That's the only thing that kind of keeps these positioned well. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's okay as long as you don't mess around with it too much. Um, but you tend to actually mess around and touch things when you play with your toys. So, uh, Daniel does not fit. Uh, here's the spike. We showed it off before because there's no leg room area. He can't actually fit, but he does scale pretty well. I think this would scale actually quite perfectly um, with the car seat. Uh, this RC does not feel like the RC in the 86 movie. I feel like this RC feels, I said it before, she feels like she's uh, 20 years later in age from the young and vibrant RC we got in the movie. Why is she called RC? What does that even mean? I assume it's probably, you know, just the spelling for the letters RC. Who, who knows? I'm sure somebody more, uh, more intelligent than me who has more background can probably answer that question. Uh, Anthony Brown says, what are your thoughts on Headmasters? Is it worth doing a Headmasters of? Uh, I, I wouldn't be interested in a Headmaster, Daniel, at all. Support him, it says Saggy RC. Uh, sadly, I prefer the MMC. Uh, I, can, I can see that. I just don't see uh, the MM, Ocular Max one, to be more specific, uh, being that G1-ish. I think it does seem... Um, more, it seems more kind of like IDW-ish or kind of a blend. Uh, there are just some things that are very iconic about G1 RC, like the collar that she just doesn't have, um, and the angular chest. This one's very rounded, uh, especially from the uh, side view, the profile view. But I do think she does have a better overall articulation. Um, she does have better balance overall, I would say. Smaller backpack. Uh, but she just doesn't look the... Uh, the G1 style that I'm looking for. Yeah, Kato's collection also says RC equals the the um, the letters RC for remote, remote control car. That made sense. I mean, that's what I was going for. Uh, Sean, I said that, like I said, I think this is probably going to be my uh, G1 RC. For my collection, but that's that might not be the case for everyone. Like Memo says, he prefers the Ocular, Ocular, Ocular Max one. Uh, T-Man, RC might also be another Star Wars thing like R2. Valid? I don't know. Blankster said, would anyone be mad if Takara, uh, with only this character, just gave us a separate robot in alt mode in one box? Uh, I don't think that would work for most people. Time, time to go to sleep, Clinical. Thanks for always joining. I know you're out on European time, so I appreciate you staying up late to join. All right, so I, th I think I'm, we're, does the backpack weigh down the figure? The backpack, I mean, is... Um, the backpack is heavier than I was expecting, uh, which does cause it to have some balance issues. But again, that's kind of to be expected, given that she does have very tiny feet, um... And the relative por portion of die cast is actually probably more in this backpack section, which is on her backpack, than it is on her feet. And this, then these um, gray pieces where uh, all the internal structure is, those are also die cast, which are also happen to be on her backpack. Um, and again, since you can't, um, you get zero uh, backwards leg movement in her robot mode. I mean, not even a millimeter. So. If they had given her a little bit of that, I think that would help her balance her backpack a bit more. But yeah, we're already getting to almost 80 minutes. I think I've answered most of the questions, at least the ones I could see. I know TM Reviews and uh, T-Man have been doing all the heavy lifting while I was doing the transformation. Uh, so uh, transformation and all the accessories and so forth. So I, I very much appreciate their help here. Uh, be sure to check out their channels and their reviews. Like I said, TM Reviews already has his. I'm sure he's shooting his. He's taking probably time out of shooting his review to come here and answer questions as well as to moderate. T-Man, unfortunately, got screwed over by DHL. I'm sure he'll probably get his tomorrow. Um, 
Fingers crossed, team man, that you get yours tomorrow. And given that he's a workhorse and he does videos very regularly, I'm guessing he will have his review out sometime late tomorrow night, if not early tomorrow morning, depending on when he gets his um, MP51. So, Zfar says, thanks, Henry. Damn it, you convinced me to try and get her. I, I think she's well worth getting. I definitely do. She's one of the better uh, ones. Robot mode, aesthetics aside... I think it's still a really great figure. There's a lot to like about this figure, so I wouldn't be hesitant to recommend her to anyone that's a G1 fan or RC fan, uh, RC fan in general. Uh, I'm sure they Trash asked, does she have a diecast in any particular reason? Yeah, so the feet make sense. They kind of want to give her more stability. The armatures, these uh, internal frame pieces, they tend to do... Um, those kind of pieces in die cast so they don't break or stress. And I don't know why they did this section back here, actually. It doesn't really make sense because, again, die cast um, pegging into plastic doesn't typically work well, and that's probably why this doesn't peg well into her lower back. Um, so, yeah, I don't know why they did that one. It might have been because it's so close to the um, midpoint of her body that they were hoping to weigh down from the center of gravity. T-Man says, I'll probably start shooting immediately as soon as I get it. Uh, around here, DHL stops at 5, apparently. So I really do hope it, it, it does get to you, T-Man. Uh, and again, T-Man is probably also going to do a transformation video, which is probably going to be cleaner than mine. So make sure to check that out. I'm, I've been avoiding or I'm, I'm making a transition, so I'm not doing full um, edited reviews as much really probably not ever anymore or very rarely so um you're not going to get the clean easy consinct um succinct not consinct succinct condensed uh transformations that you normally would get for me that are edited down cutting out all the mistakes and so forth so uh, be sure to take check out t-man's uh, just transform it like uh videos All right, so I think that's it for today, everyone. I do appreciate you joining. Again, we still have three more days in the 10 days of live streaming that I'm doing. Tomorrow will be the rescheduled uh, prototype uh, topic. So we're going to be talking about prototypes. I'm going to bring out a bunch of prototypes that I was going to bring out for today. But again, RC uh, definitely through in a, 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 a detour. I wanted to get this out as soon as possible because I know she's highly anticipated and the latest MP figure. So I wanted to get this out for you guys. Uh, but yeah, be sure to join me tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the prototype. Um, I don't even know what to call it. Prototype uh, showcase. Uh, we'll call it call that back. Prototype showcase. Uh, showcasing a bunch of the prototypes I have, talking about what prototypes are, my experience with them, uh, my thoughts on them, uh, why companies may or may not want to send out prototypes, etc., etc., etc. So that will be the topic. I'll have a ton of prototypes that I will bring out so you guys can see what I have. Most of them you might have already seen at some point during my live streams or reviews, um, but there are definitely a couple that have been hiding in the background. So uh, be sure to check it out. All right. Thanks a lot, everyone. Hope you have a good one.